site manager, which is uh, uh, Kelvin. Okay, Kelvin, are you there? Hello. Hi. Hey, okay, hello. Kelvin here. Hello. Yes. Hello. Kelvin hello. is uh, our our site manager. So let's why not let him to bring us to have a look for the real the uh, show units and uh, have a look for the real places, how it looks like, and uh, what it will be. And if you guys have any Q&A, then we're all just keeping to uh, uh, asking Kelvin later, okay? So, perfect. Kelvin, yes. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead, Kelvin. More, okay, good evening and good morning for those, my fellow friends. Okay, I'm here right now at the BQ of Genting today. But before I started, eventually I will ask my colleague to show you around the weather here. All right, so eventually, if let's say we are talking about the weather in Kuala Lumpur, it was in around 77 Fahrenheit to 89 Fahrenheit throughout the year in Kuala Lumpur. But if let's say we are talking about when you come to visit Malaysia, you try to have some cooler place. That one, Malaysia, we have few places to be choose, which is the famous, the famous place is Kenteng Highland. Cameron Highland, Fraser Hill, and Bukit Tinggi. But among all these four places, there's only one place that come with facilities, uh, entertainment hub, casino. This is the place we say Genting Highland. So, we queue here, the, throughout the year, the temperature will be at around 59 Fahrenheit to 32, uh, 77 Fahrenheit, which is much more cooler compared to what we have in KL. And if we are going to the hilltop, which is 1,800 meter above sea level, the weather are much more cooler, are just within 50 Fahrenheit to 55.4 Fahrenheit. But this is not as cool as from other countries that have four seasons. So I will continue with the project introduction. Where we, let's go into the sales gallery. So uh, today I will just uh, let you guys know what the location the surrounding facilities, amenities, and what's property. Going on. Uh, property and in Malaysia. I will bring you guys to the showroom, right? So um, we have two showroom outside and one showroom inside. So later on, when I will, I will, when I walk through the showroom and outside, I will might shut down the video. So anything you might ask, we're at that moment, right? So this is the sales gallery we have. We have invest around ten million ringgit malaysia at this sales room right so we have one of the biggest scale scale model over here so before we start that let's through, go through the location map All right so as just now we say we are i am at the big hill so if we are driving from kuala lumpur city center which is klcc it will take us around 45 minutes that we can reach mid hill Right. Uh, so now this meet you, we have like uh, a lot of convenience shop, bank, even though there is an international boarding school over this at the meet you. And from our side, driving distance 50 minutes, we can reach to the Hilltop, which is the Genting Group. So throughout the destination, when we go to Hilltop, we might reach Malaysia, the sec only one, not very far in uh, Genting Highland. We have a Gente Side Skyway, which is the cable car. And we have an outlet, premium outlet, which we can buy a branded and premium things in Malaysia, which is one of the famous shopping place. And then we have a golf club here, Awana Golf Club, which is a nine hole golf view. King Sui is one of our uh, Malaysia local culture temple, which a lot of visitors eventually come here for understanding more about our culture. Then we will reach the theme park. The casino, the bar street, food street, shopping center, they are all on top, right? It's just a 15 minute drive throughout the place. So, Genting, one of the Malaysia worldwide well known tourism hotspot. Throughout last year's statistics, Genting itself on last year, they are attract 30 million visitors visiting them per annum, right? So we divided this 30 million into every day. Eventually, there will be seven, 70,000 people are visiting Kenteng every day. And for, for these 70,000 people, 30% of the visitor 
they will choose to stay in Genting at least one night, which means that they will stay and book a hotel, do a reservation to stay there at least one night, right? So eventually, Genting, they have the Malaysia book record, the largest hotel complex in Genting. They have seven blocks of hotel from the three and a half star, which is first world hotel, to the Con Concord Hotel, five star hotel. They only have 10,000 rooms in the market, right? But as an entertainment hub in Genting, casino, theme park, they have a concert hall, they have a, a convention center hall on top, 60% of their room are reserved for their VVIP. That's why only 40% of the room are provided to the market for those visitors to just for the short vacancy to stay. So throughout this year, Genting are always shortage of hotel. So what IBM we're going to build today, we were going to build uh, 21 acres of land with 10 building that will be the second largest hotel complex in Genting. All right? So these 21 acres, okay, we were already met, talk to the hotel operator for Tower 1, Tower 2, Tower 3, and Tower 3A will be managed by a China brand five-star hotel operator. So the name is Gloria. Tower 5 and Tower 6 was assigned to our new shareholder that will bring in a Middle East brand of hotel with a Middle East brand of uh, renovation that they will sell at the Middle East with a five-star hotel operator. For Tower 9 will be a worldwide well-known software hotel and we will bring in more hotel brand for Tower 7, 8, and 10. So this project was soft launch at the year of 2019, December, where at that time we launched Tower 1 and Tower 2. So when we talk about this Tower 1 and Tower 2, each block is around 28 story and 10 unit per floor. So our sizes are from 753 square feet until 1,345 square feet, or we change it to square meter, is a 70 square meter to 1,125 square meter. All right. So, as you can see, normally the property or a building that might shall design in a squarish or a very proper manner, but our building are designed in the oval shape. That is the reason why we design in this manner, because as you know, Malaysia is one of the country well known um, in the natural uh, resources with the greenery, with a landscaping view. We, and this is one of the cooler place, windy place we have in Malaysia with a lot of facility. We want our customer to enjoy the facility, uh, holidays, vacancy over here, and they are able to enjoy the greenery view. That's why we design it into a very oval shape. Some of the unit that can enjoy up to 270 degree view, such as the unit over here at the corner and another unit at the corner, right? For Tower 1, 2, we have a sky garden at the level 28 on top and a landscape platform at the level of 26 with a swimming pool, all right? So for our residents, for our hotel guests, we have a shelter bus service provided from the hotel all the way to the Awana cable car. So, which means that while you are visiting our project from uh, any traffic transport like buses or you come with your uh, own car, when you, when you come over, you just park your car over here, you can take the shelter bus service, go to the Awana sky cable car, you can reach Kenting. Right. Other than that, for our project, we have an international convention center here. As I said, just now, Genting, there was a convention center at top, but for the convention center at Genting, that can only fit 10,000 people. But for our convention center, oh, sorry, Genting one, they can only fit 1,000 packs, but for our convention center, is 300,000 square feet. We will utilize 80% of the space for one big convention hall here, theater room, eight to 10 multifunctional hall, 
and we will have team building hall here. So in our project, this convention center itself can fit up to 8,000 to 10,000 packs. The remaining 20%, we will use it for our FMB, bar street, and convenience shop. Why we design so? Right. So when we talk about having event in Gantek, as our past experience, if anyone from Malaysia or outside of Malaysia, they want to do a fair, want to do an event like Ferrari Club event, like uh, Mata Fair, like Baby Fair, like Mummy Fair, whatever fair, they need to make a reservation at least one year to a one and a half year in advance so that they can book a space in Yunding, but which can only fit 1,000 people. So we can see that there is a lot of people that choose to having their event their business meeting over here in Gandeng is quite famous. And we would like to have this place that can sustain our hotel operation. So for 10 blocks, we have 4,400 units, which the 10,000 packs here to having their event, we can fulfill all the servicing hotel provider here. This is the first concept. And the second concept is where we want our customer, we want our visitor that can not only come to here to have their meeting, they can bring along their kids and their family. So where the parents are here to attend their business meeting, attending their fair or doing their work, the kids can eventually enjoy the holidays at the theme park, at the indoor theme park, and at the playground. After the meeting of the parents, the parents can join with the kids on the park there for their family day. Right. So this is the concept we want. And other than that, Genting was, as I mentioned just now, we have a very good weather in Genting, right? But we do not have a proper walkway system in Genting. That's why a lot of people, when they come to stay in Genting, they still choose to jog, have a morning jogging or they have a um, hiking, all right, in Genting, but without a proper Workway system, but in IBN we do concern about this. That's why at the ground floor we link link up all tower one until tower nine and the convention center together. So the parents can let the kids and let the uh, grandpa grandma to have their jogging daily activity in the morning, enjoy the weather, enjoy the landscaping at the ground floor, and the car are at the underground. So the man and the car were separated. So we're concerned about our client safety. So talk about the hotel management. So since we have a lot of five-star hotel brands that are coming in to manage the hotel, they will have a um, nine years management agreement with us. Right? So throughout this nine year, every year you are able to enjoy 7% return on guarantee. So which means that when you have a unit here, like an example, our smaller unit here, which is a 753 square feet. So your return will be based on a 270. The selling price was on $210,000 and the selling the, the return will be based on the net purchase price, right? So, uh, other than that, um, Kevin, you switched off your camera. Uh, yeah. Hold on, yeah. Maybe let me start back the camera. I think something happened to the phone. Okay. So, so for any of the, our customer that buy this property, they have two options that they have to decide on the spot when they purchase. The first option is they want to buy for retirement. So that will need will not come with rental return. So they just come and stay in this unit. They are all fully furnished, right? But if let's say the client choose to have investment, choose to have investment and a vacancy home. So any single unit that purchase here, they will come with 7% guarantee returns and all the clients are able to enjoy 15 day, 14 night, free stay every year. Which means that if you are from uh, US, you come to visit Malaysia, let's say once in a year, you might have able to enjoy 
14 day, 14 night free stay here. If you can't utilize it, you can eventually book for your friend, but you might not stay back to your own unit. It depends on the hotel operation. But let you know about one thing. What is the rental price here in Genting? If we are talking, if we are talking about uh, a Genting, the first world hotel, three and a half star, their selling price is around $96 to $101, uh, $118 per night. Well, that is a three and a half star. But for us, we are planned to sell per night on $90 basis, which is a five star hotel operator you can enjoy with a lower price and a better service. And this is the way we use to attract the customer to stay. And secondly, if the customer is aware that, well, I want to come to Genting, I want to stay with a five-star hotel, there will be not only Genting, there will be an, another choice in IBL that you might not only to stay in your hotel, they might have other hotel options, right, throughout uh, many years. So for the entire project to be complete will be take us for 10 years from now. So for talk, when we're talking about tower one and two, the date of completion will fall under June of 2015 and uh, 2025, sorry, June of 2025. And we're talking about the completion date of the convention center will be fall under the year of 2026. So which means the hotel will start first, then the convention center will be following. Uh, to be very frankly speaking, this convention center, we are not going to sell to anyone the developer will hold it forever and we will look for an operator to operate the convention center and we we're looking for a tenant for the FMB and Bar Street. Currently, there's two hotels are eventually looking for tendulation on the operation, which is uh, from Gloria and from Sofitel. We are still waiting for the award, award from the management to know who will be the operator here. So uh, this is the project information. Let's go to one of our showroom indoor. Well, Kevin makes his way over to one of the uh, model units. Are there any questions at this point? Sorry, uh, sorry, ah, uh, not not this point. Later on, I'll let you know. Sorry, ah. Uh. So I will introduce uh, some of the company background. IBM was formally formed at the year of twenty eighteen. It's a Malaysian company. So, the in IBM we have four project on hand right now. So today we are in Genting Highland, right? So we have another project in downtown. Is IBM Bukit Bintang. This is also a, five, uh, a landmark project in KL City Center, which is 330 meter high, 67 story, one of the tallest uh, residents in Southeast Asia. And then we have another project that we might going to launch may maybe next year, which is a landed project, Tamidi or Bangalore lands uh, in uh, Surrenda, one of the Slango places. And there is another project in Bentong, which is in Pahang of Malaysia that this project will only start after Island City project. So this is one, four of the project we have in uh, Malaysia, right? So there, we will go to the showroom now. So you can ask questions from here. Sorry, I jumped the gun there. Are there any no, questions? No, no, sorry. I know it takes Kevin a few minutes to get over to the units. Matt? Is there, so if it's done and I guess if I understand next summer, 2025, can potential investors, A, is there financing or and if yes or no, could they also start making deposits towards the balance now? So for example, if someone purchased a unit for 250,000 USD, could they start yeah. just you know putting money into escrow or pay the developer directly? And then when the project's complete, then either you know pay off the balance? I know of a couple of projects in that area that that's, they do something to that effect. Yeah, Angela can elaborate on it, but they basically have set it up so that there's a deposit 
a small deposit paid at the beginning to initiate the paperwork. And then it's two tranches, basically 50% each time till it's paid in full, but it's not spread out over nine or 10 months. It's spread out over about two months. Okay. And then how are commissions paid? Are they, I mean, is it based on, is it kind of staggered upon deposits if we sell units or is it just upon completion or both? Yeah, they'll, they'll pay a portion of it when the first 50% deposit gets paid and then the balance of it when the balance gets paid. Okay. All right, Kevin, we buy you a little bit of time so you can get over there. No, <laughs> okay, I'm in the showroom right now, all right? Uh, this is one we, one of our dual key showroom here we have, which is uh, 893 square feet. All right, it's a dual key concept. While the dual key was is still in the link door in the middle of two units. To be very frank, if we talk about this unit, it was similar like the hotel's links room. You might feel it shortly. So. This is the hotel corridor. So this is exactly how the corridor looks like for your room, for your houses. So you will have two entrance here, left and right. Well, if you have the hotel management and there might come in a couples, the hotel might just operate with uh, rent out one room for $90 per night and another one with $90 per night. Or eventually they can rent it in a $150 for two nights. Right, let's see what is inside the showroom. When we come into the rooms, all the fixture like the, uh, this is what we say, wardrobe, mattress, uh, downline, selling, finger spread, hidden, icon, and, and all stuff in washroom are provided, but not this small, small decor item, okay? Also for this room, this unit, you come without a mini bar, but you come with a, a living area with a TV and a sofa. And this is where the link, link, law, link door are here. So there will be a two room, two door, which is you can open left and the right, all right? But this unit is good for investment, as I said. So the hotel can rent it separately or rent it to a family, which they have two couples, or if you buy this unit for investment first or you and retirement later, you might think of, I'll oh, just come to Malaysia and retire when I'm old. This is one of the unit you can choose, right? So after the nine years of operation from the hotel, you might be able to keep one unit to you and you can option up this unit for hotel operation. But that one will fall under the management company annual meeting to decide, right? So after nine years, you can decide, oh, I want to continue with hotel or I don't, right? So, well, okay. Highbian Highland City, we have the bigger balcony, biggest balcony in Genting and in KL. So when we talk about project in downtown, there's a lot of projects that come without balcony, right? You just open up your sliding door, then you will just see what happening. And some of the project in Genting, the is a balcony are on this big only. They are stopped here. So we are providing with a wide balcony that when you're facing outside, you can see all the landscape you have. Enjoy your morning coffee, enjoy your night lighting show. Especially Genteng, when we come to uh, Christmas, we come to New Year's, we have a lot of fire fireworks here, right? So there's one bathtub outside in tower one and two. This is the only tower that we will provide bathtub and outside. It's not for naked, but for youngster to check in on ins, Twitter or Facebook. So uh, when we come to this room, it's similar like the others, all right? So uh, the design will most likely in the hotel concept, which you have a slightly more with the uh, 
coming. The line is not that stable. The toilet bowl. Okay, the kitchen cabinet, table top. Sorry, I'm slow down. So we have a kitchen cabinet, table top. In this unit, I'm provided with the hook and cook, but washing machine is not provided for all unit, right? But when we concern about the our client who bought this unit, they might think of to stay or to retire in the unit for after nine years. So we do provide the water tap and the piping over this location. So after nine years, you can just buy your own washing machine and put it in and you will be operate. But for hotel, they have a Dolby service. That's why we are not providing any uh, washing machine. And for the safety box here in the wardrobe uh, provided by the hotel. So while well, nine years later, the safety box will bring him back by the hotel. If the building owners, which is you or your customer, their majority are not agree to continue an agreement with them, right? So uh, I will bring you to another two showroom, which is much more distant from what we have now. So you can ask any question. I will just close the cam here. We'll just ask any question you want. Any question on the ground? If you are not, hello. We we can. Hello. Hear I don't hmm. know. I don't think anyone has any questions at this point. All right. So then, uh, you have to let me on uh, five minutes. I have to walk over. No problem. Yeah. So Angela, um. When we first started chatting, it the target was to finish the first two towers by the end of the year. Is mm -hmm. that still the goal, or how is that looking? Uh, it's probably will be postponed a little bit, maybe to uh beginning of next year. So I will send you the uh stage uh where we are right now, so we can you know have a look. Um, but yeah, obviously it will be postponed uh slightly a little bit to beginning of next year. Okay. And what, yeah. what caused the delay is there, um, like we've had supply chain issues here in the U.S. Were there reasons for the delay? Uh, no, it's not really. It's just because of like, uh, uh, we just started to recover the con construction side. Uh, beginning of this month is the Chinese New Year. So the Chinese New Year is like a postponed like two weeks. And the, right now, currently, is a Malay, you know, the Hari Raya, which they will take probably like a month. So a lot of like uh, uh, holidays, to, so we, you know, could not on time to move on our schedule. So that's the reason why we just put down a, a, a little bit the slow, you know, the schedule. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe let me add on on this one. So the currently, this construction was on... Uh, ongoing the structure was completed right as you see from behind me there's two tower on my right hand side this is tower two and on my left hand side that one which we see the uh only a part of the building that one was tower one the structure was all completed was done by a previous main contractor from china what we say crc so eventually we are we have already done of transfer the main con from a China main contractor to a Malaysia public listed company, what we call the Saruman Engineering Bahad. And they are professionally in indoor design and indoor renovation. They are now having workers inside and doing their renovation work and there is ongoing. Yes, we have just finished our uh, CNY on February and this month is the Ramadan month. So they have uh, their Ramadan uh, which will hold them for one week, uh, sorry, one month, and then after that is their new year for Muslim. So we will go through the showroom here. So you can see, this is how it looks like in the future, on the view, on the greenery and the weather. Even though it's a sunny day, but you just feel windy and cold. Uh, if you are, if anything, well, the night is not strong, just let me know, yeah, I will just hold a while. 
Okay, so I'll let uh, my, my colleague Terence to show you the view on this side. So there's a uh, construction ongoing right now, as you see on the opposite, which is not belongs to us, but you can see, see the mountain view that's surrounding on us. So um, I'll continue with the show flat. This is one of our unit and the, another corner, right? And corner. So this is a 753 square feet, which is the smaller unit we have in tower one and two. Uh, it's four under the last corner. And that this is the unit that we have the lower entry price, which is 200 and $10,000 and it comes with a one bedroom, one bathroom, one living area and separated balcony. So I'll show you here, when we walk inside, this is how it look like. So you come with a table, kitchen cabinet, table chop, TVs, ah, one thing. that This console is not provided, all right? Then, uh, this is how your living area look like. Okay, so in our concept is after the nine years, all right, when you transfer the ownership back to your own, which you can use it for your retirement home, this is how you use your space for bar barbecue purpose. You just uh, buy a barbecue stack here, you can enjoy a barbecue out, looking out from the union and enjoy the greenery view. And this is the concept that we want to create to all our clients. All right. So let's go to one of the one and the only one room in this layout. So uh, there's a, there will be a dog provider in the future. Lah, huh? So when we're talking about where this unit is for a uh, couple to stay, not only mattress and other things were provided, but we separated the shower area and the bath, area, uh, the toilet area. So you, if you can, you can see more clearly inside. And for this unit, you have a. For this unit, you have a good angle of balcony. We are good angle of bathtub. Right, so this is uh, what we say, 270 degree view in the project. And maximize your view and relax yourself. Retreat from your work or retreat yourself from the living uh, environment. Okay, so we go to the last show flat. All right, so this is the last short flat we had. This is 100 and, uh, 1,184 square feet, which is a two bedroom, a one bathroom, one dining area, and one living area unit, which go under another corner of the building, right? Okay, so there's some slightly changes in this short flat. If, if you are looking from outside right now, when you come in, there will be a closed concept kitchen provided. But when we hand over this wall and this sliding door is not provided, we will make it from a closed concept kitchen to an open concept kitchen so that you enjoy more spaces when you're leaving.
So this is what we have in the dining area and the living area. So the room are separated into two sides, the master bedroom and the second bedroom here. I will look at the master bedroom first. All right. So whereby this is the this is the master bedroom and the bathtub was provided in the bedroom and you have a private balcony here, right? So we go to the second bedroom. When we go to the second bathroom, uh, second bedroom, before we enter in here, you will see you have a, a toilet section is over here. We separated the basin and the toilet. Then only we come to the second bedroom. And this bedroom is this bedroom is linked to the living area with the balcony. So, uh, okay, so the short fed tours will end now. So, any question from your side? Any question to ask? Matt, Shelly, Amelia, you guys have any questions for Kevin before we let him go? Shelly says, truly great job, Kevin. She's giving you a high five. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Good, pres good presentation, good Kevin. Job, Very beautiful. Yeah, nice it's nice. Funny. Very nice. Thank you, Shelly. I appreciate you dropping in. We recorded it, so if you know anyone that wants the recording, let me know. All right. I do have one question. Sure, Will. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah, ahead, please. Matt. Any question? What is just generally, maybe it's an Angela question, what is the appreciation in that area right now as far as what you see going forward, like, you know, just generally as far as the price point? So if, it, if someone bought one for 200000 USD, what can they expect in the next, you know, upcoming, okay. you know, whatever, few years? Uh, I will say one thing here because uh, Gunting Group, they have a 10 years development planning, okay, right now in uh, Gunting. So Gunting Group, eventually they have uh, their entertainment hub already in a huge top. They will stop developing on the top and they are now moving their planning on the MQ, which is our area here. They might have a, a water theme park in the future. They will have a second uh, Concert hall, which is much more bigger, that can fit uh, 16,000 packs. And we come uh, with a new bar station over here in uh, MeetQ. I believe that the that when come with all this much, much more and more facility in Genting, the price will much more appreciation compared with last time. So when we're talking about throughout this year in Malaysia, where we talk, we don't count COVID in, yeah? just exclude COVID. So according to the news, one of the Malaysia uh, a well-known uh, newspaper publisher, Malaysia property appreciation are around 5 to 10% per annum, which means that uh, throughout uh, one year, the property will increase 5 to 10%. So eventually, while we talk about our surrounding here, my uh, opinion and my understanding this area two out nine years the minimum uh in appreciation if we're talking about the price compared now and future there will be another additional 50 percent which means that uh from 220 uh 210,000 in the future it will become at 315,000 uh two out nine years the minimum we have is uh, 315,000. That was the expectation we have in this area. Yeah. Is it allowed, thank you, is it allowed that investors could 
especially for a unit that's maybe not going to be completed for a couple of years, where they could make their whatever deposits and then assign it to another buyer as it increases in price? No. Uh, under Malaysia government's uh, rules and regulation, uh, the property cannot be transferred to the next party without the uh, uh, completion. Because uh, under our rules and regulation, yes, this property is under one building and it's come with a master title. So when it completed, we have to do a strata, means that we have to divide it or all, all the unit come with a strata title, which we have small piece of title. So that at that moment only they can transfer the name to uh, the third party or others. So which means in the sub-sale market. So have, you have to wait until it's complete. Okay, I'm just curious. All right. It's a good question. It's also nice to recognize that uh, with 7% return guaranteed by the developer paid quarterly, if you bought a $210,000 unit, you're going to get 63% of that in that that expense. You're going to receive 63% of it back over the course of those nine years. And as Kevin just pointed out, at, at the end, it's also gone up in value by 100000 So it's it's a very um, appealing place to park some money, especially if you're nervous about the U.S. economy. <laughs> Is everybody just very worried about the U.S. economy so far? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, um, yeah. never so a dull moment. Say... Yeah, I would say that but, another uh, extra point is uh, like a holding cost. So the U.S. property, actually, we will do the calculation probably like a, uh, you have to increase the property 20 to 30 percent. If you sell it, then if possible, you can make the profit because that's like a, every month the HOA and every month the tax, every year of the annual tax and the repairing and this and that. So a lot of extra I mean, the high cost. So even though plus the uh, uh, selling, if you want to sell in the project and you have to pay before that was kind of like a 6%, right? The story happened like a, the broker agent fees. So maybe currently it's just reduced a little bit, but whatever, we do the calculation probably like that you have to get 20% of this increase. Then probably just break even, you could not lose the money. But uh, the Malaysia, the property, like uh, we had very less the amount of man maintenance fees, kind of like, a, yes, we still have the tax, annual tax, and also we had kind of like HOA, but it's very low. The percentage also very low, even though when you're trying to sell it, the agent fee is probably just 2%, 3%. So it's very low. So what we call the maintenance uh, uh, the fees compared with U.S., so it's already considered very low. So we don't need to hold until like a 20% increase and we only can uh, uh, sell it the property. So, and based on the year, every like 15% uh, of the increase price by uh, every year. So compared with US property, this is also, you know, the very interesting point, maybe the buyer will uh, like to hear about that, to know about that. All right. One, one more, one, one more question. Yeah. Sorry, Kevin. Yeah. I thought you mentioned, and I apologize because uh, it was in the beginning of your presentation. Something about if someone buys a unit, they get maybe the hotel version, then they can have what fourteen days per year to stay. Is that what you, something to that effect? Yes. 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 It, it, this and is in you... the contract. This is in the contract. So when the when like you, you buy a unit in here, you will sign two agreement we have with with us. The first agreement is a sales and purchase agreement. And this is a Malaysian government standard. So the second agreement we have signed is a property management agreement. So under this property management agreement, it was stated that this property will be managed by the hotel operator and uh, you home for nine years and you are able to get your 15 day, 49 free stay per annum in this place. But you are not necessary to stay at back or at your unit. If let's say you are buying that unit like the 893 square feet, that one is around 220,000. You might stay back to the similar unit you have or you stay like this unit, which start selling at 230,000. So that one, we will come uh, with a compensate value. Lah. So that is how it's 
this is how this thing go ongoing. Thank you. And I think you touched base on this as well. And so if someone buys a unit in that in this example, then they're allowed to, let's say someone bought one and they want to stay there for seven days, but then they could allow yes. a guest stay for, you know, whatever period of time up to the 14 days. So, you know, let's say you couldn't make it, but your friend or your coworker or whoever, could you, could someone assign that 14 days to somebody else besides himself to stay yes, there? Yes, but we are allowed on that, but you have to book on behalf, which means that if, let's say, you own the unit, so you are not coming to uh, enjoy this facility, so you can book it, you can uh, book it for your, this uh, co-worker, you can book it for your business partner, you can book for your friends and family, but you have to book, res you have to do the reservation on behalf because you are the owner. And okay. that reservation is done to us, the developer, it's not done to the hotel. We will do the reservation on you for you. Okay, thank you. That's clear. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, Kevin. Well, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you for uh, giving us all the guided tour. And yeah, we'll um, thank forward. you for your time also. Yeah, we'll we'll forward any uh, trailing questions to you, Angela. Uh, and if you don't mind sending me the update on the status and if if okay. any of the pricing has changed. It doesn't doesn't sound like it has, but um, the most current pricing. Yeah, yeah, I I still will do the update for you. The latest, you know, the pricing uh, chat. I would do it. Angela, I would love to talk yes. to you and add a, a separate call to uh, promote in other countries like China and Taiwan with all of our different Singapore. You know, as we mentioned, at the start of the call. So I'd love to be able to. I know Ed, you can give me some marketing material, but I would love to you know, have a strategy or, you know, because we have, like I said, a large audience sure. in those other countries. So. Sure. Yeah. Also, also, I was very interesting, like, uh, to, to you know, actually, I already been discussed with Eddie last time when I meet up, right? We just trying to uh, uh, bring the tour, you know, to go Malaysia and, um, you know, to have a look at the real side and uh, just have a look for the whole KL and uh, just get the real true feeling. And uh, before that, our uh, planning was trying to set up on uh, April, but uh, I think we 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 had been talk about that. Maybe we can move it on May, uh, coming by two months later. So this actually is very interesting. You know the idea what we have. So maybe we can discuss more about this. Uh, you know the tour, the trip going to KO uh, Malaysia by this May. Uh, yeah, I I think Eddie, you can like uh, uh, set up like uh, another meeting uh, with Matt and uh, you and me or, or whatever we discuss about that or uh just give the content number or whatever. So yeah, uh, uh you can discuss with Eddie and uh, see how it how it works for you and for both of us. Matt, yeah, yeah, because we're gonna like I said. Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, Angela and I have dinner to kind of go through things every other month or so. So I was thinking yeah, we would drag you along on the next one. Oh, yeah, please do. Yeah. I'd love to. Yeah, don't. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Um, and let just let me know. I'll be uh, like I said. Our our plan right now is to be there the second half of May, and right now we're going to do uh, Manila. Second May. Okay. Second power, like around the fifteenth to the thirtieth. We're going to go to Singapore mm -hmm. and Manila, but and I have a couple of partners there. In, in Philippines as well, and then but we could since okay. we're so close, we could maybe add on a couple yeah. of days to visit your yeah. Why sense, not? Right? Why not? There, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That must be very first of all. It's a it's a like a uh uh when you're passing by Singapore, you just come over. You know, probably take three days. I thought very enough. Just spend one day to my side and another day go to like a, a walk around in KL and then just get some feeding and a Gunding Casino. So where is the uh? like the casino you know to close next to our sign so you guys will get the feeling and easy to promote and easy to do your work when you're back and discuss with your business yeah, absolutely because because last year we went to yeah. uh you know to singapore vietnam and bangkok and we actually did a property show in phnom penh cambodia the largest property show there last mm -hmm. august so my mm -hmm. friend tom okay. o'sullivan runs a real estate.kh but they had actually they actually had overseas projects there too. I can talk to him about maybe promoting your project there too. So let's uh, mm -hmm. definitely have a follow up call meeting. But you know, dinner is always good too. I always like to eat. So yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I will. I will. Uh, I will happy to see maybe next uh, next week or beginning of April. So I will be more uh, uh, available. 
So yeah, I'll be around. I just got back from Bangkok. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll be back. Perfect. I'll be here for the next no, two no, weeks for sure. Okay. okay. I, uh, I'll, I'll send an email just set to up both the time of you again. early in the week okay. and we'll figure it out. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Thank you. guys. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Thank you, Angela. Thank you Kevin. You're welcome. Thank you, Sheila, okay. uh, Shelly, and Amelia, and Matt for joining us. Hopefully, you got some good info out of it. Super well, great presentation. Great. Really good. Well done. A great project. Great project. Thank you, Ed, Angela, Thank and you. Kevin. Super, super great. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye.